Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing with our Throne's Revenge Imperial Civil War 2.3 preview playthrough as the Greater Maldrude. In the last episode we took Mon Calamari and Hast, and we also, uh, so that's over here, and we also sent a few fleets into PA territory, but we're kind of retreating them back. We're going to go for Wayland and Merkir instead so we don't get attacked anymore. Uh, we dealt with a uh, an Empire of the Hand fleet that was raiding into our territory, so that is no longer an issue but uh we're also going to look at moving down from this side of the map a little i think but our, our main focus will be on uh moving into wayland and then Mercure. uh so yeah i don't want to eliminate hapes as a choke point for us because that's been really helpful if we can leave it so that the uh the empire isn't going to want to attack us that'd be that'd be nice but let's uh Let's get back into it. Let's let our fleet get into position. We're going to be sending them into Wayland. So we need an IPV and you go this way. Uh, but yeah, so this fleet that's coming back to Qtrick, we're going to put it on Tangren, and then if we ever get the notification that we're uh, that we're getting attacked at Eol Shaw, which is the northern one, we can just move our stuff around. So uh, as usual for this week. Uh, there's a lot of personal stuff going on, so this will be a shorter than usual episode. Uh, but yeah, we'll still get a good amount done, I think. We're we're in a good position. All right, two Peltists. Uh, let's send the Vengeance in, which isn't a Vengeance, it's a Bellator, but it's called Vengeance. We'll send it in there. You destroy that. Uh, Alucard... You can just take out the station. Nope, apparently you can't if I don't put it there properly. And we can put out Ruminoyance there. They'll be able to take that stuff out. Alright. I don't think we need any more than that. Oh, did the did the Peltis get out? I think it did. Star Destroyer standing by. Star Destroyer reporting in. I think both retreated, but I'm not I'm not too sad about that because the nearest EA or Empire of the Hand planets are in their main territory. They're not touching us anywhere. So they end up back on this side of the galaxy. It just means they're going to be able to use them to fight the Penistar Alignment, which that's that's all fine with me. Um, so let's grab our ground forces and send them over here. All right, the other thing I wanted to do was to start building up a few more ground forces. So... Well, I just want a second army, essentially. Is that such a, such a bad thing to want? We'll send that. Let's get three of those. Get three more of those and two more of those. And over here, bud, let's get three more of those and two of those there, bud. All right. So get over there. Yep. Reporting. Where? Okay, go. they went that way. So I'm going to send in a probe droid. Check that out. While we're waiting for that stuff to fly in, may as well just queue up more probe droids. You can never have too many probe droids. Vision wins games. I will work on uh, a couple more high tier shipyards. Ooh. I guess they invaded at the same time that we left, so we got here at the same time. Because they wouldn't have sent this space force against our our space force, so yeah, weird. Because we have the space over their planet, so it couldn't have left at the exact same time. Oh right, because this one retreated down and went up from Q-Trick. Okay, makes sense. Never mind. My bad. It's an off day. Interceptor squad reporting. Ready. Go 
reinforcements en route. Reinforcements en route. Order sir. High squadron here. Reinforcements en route. Empire. So let's uh, let's meet their fighter swarm with our fighter swarm. We seem to be coming out on top because of our TIE Avengers. Let's actually take our arcs and send them after the, uh, after the other secular. You have a lot of TIE Bombers. Okay, you are not going to be able to survive in that corner, or in that area. Stop there. I'll go in here. Okay, I'm going to use power to weapons for this. It should be able to take on the, uh, the veteran. Yep, there we go. Oh, good. So the Aquamaners are going to leave. Alright. Okay, so that was uh, a good portion of that fleet we came up against last time that we retreated from when they attacked us. So I guess that must have been... Yeah. They attacked us, we retreated back to Kutrick, then they moved in on Penguin. Makes sense. It's all coming together. Alright. Uh, engines are down on that one already. So them retreating isn't going to save them anything. Just to save us some time, I guess. All right. Another one down. Ready to go. Cruiser reporting. Okay, so we are going to move in on this side. We have our Ground forces flying in. Reporting in. Um, Reporting in. Those weren't our ground forces. These are our ground forces. On my way. That was a probe droid. Okay, Empire of the Hand plus ground. Scary stuff.
Flame tanks are meant to be anti-infantry, but right now they're just anti-everything. All Empire of the Hand stuff is kind of anti-everything in the public release, but... Again, with the ground changes, that should all be getting to a more reasonable, uh, reasonable point. Let's bring these ones in, get that. We're just going to get these guys in so that we can capture the build pads around us. Okay, they're going to have to pass us if they use their air units. So we're going to put that up for the air striker behind us. Alright, stop there. Okay, there will be a lot of infantry. back. I think with this, we're better off getting a repair platform for now. You get back into it. You're still good. AT, AT. Hit that one if you can. Here come the flame tanks. You're gonna hit the flame tank, you're gonna hit the flame tank. You are going to blow up. Repair. Don't chase, just make sure you're firing all the time, that's fine. Okay, not bad. Alright, can you guys move over there? You can shoot that. What do you have? This is just a barracks? Oh god, it's hiding! It's a sneak attack! Alright, I think we're, we're safe- oh god. You have artillery. Still pretty weak. Alright, let's uh... Hit that one. Because these guys I'm just going to keep sending over here. You come back that way. Over here. Okay, can you actually go and attack that. Fire at will. That's not actually the one I wanted to send back. This one I wanted to send back. This one I wanted to send over here. Damn. So close. Oh, 
Okay, let's get ACAPs. Or ATPTs. Alright. I think we've worked through all their garrisons now. So that's good. You can mosey on over. You can mosey on over. Pretty good little battle there. I'm just going to send the ATAT -AT straight down that way. So these guys are still going to have to go after this other barracks. And good thing we brought the ATPTs. Hey. Okay. System Not bad. Uh, what are we gonna we're do going about to this? Guy. Go to Merc here. I guess we should go to Merc here. Complete. I'm not gonna scout it. Yeah, I am gonna scout it. I lied. Oh. No notification. We're moving out. Uh. It was probably because they were sent last episode and I just wasn't paying attention. Tactical battle imminent. This is... Yeah, we, we should be able to do that without any losses. We have a lot more... Uh... We have a lot more forces than them, but... Some of ours are smaller and they have some decent firepower, so I just... Any of that gets overwhelmed, that's not great, but we have an allegiance, so Thonger, pop on in. We don't have any anti fighter. Okay. Shield Scar, Terra Ryloth. Oh, can you actually get in? There you go. And we can pop in Red Rocket and Crimson Coming Location confirmed. We do have one A, uh, one IPV, but Focus down the ISD if we can. And you can actually. No, take out the Raider. So much for no losses. Alright, Arizona Kid. Judicator. Death Pending. Judicator. See if we can potentially stop the death of our our secular there. Fighters are doing their job. Have editors pretty much gone. Okay, you shoot that. There's last volleys off there. All right, we're good. Nope. We're not retreating. Okay, it seems like most of their fighters are dead too. It's too bad the Allegiance wasn't facing a better way. But these these guns are all getting through, so that's, that's a good amount of firepower anyways. No, so it, it starts turning as soon as I say that. There's what, three or four hard points? We're good. That could have been much worse. Retreat 
aborted. Okay. So, I did want to invade here. Nope, I zoomed in the wrong one. We shall be there shortly. Tactical battle imminent. So we can take the space and ground here pretty quickly. None of it seems particularly built up. A lot of the core territory has been changing hands so many times. The enemy is approaching. Do they even have... Yeah, it doesn't even look like they have a struck or a station here yet. So, outer room annoyance. Right away. Moving out. And that thing. Alucard. Vengeance. We'll be there shortly. Right away. Copy. They will be destroyed. Direct fire on the engines. Disabling their engines. I copy. Holding fire for maximum effect. No. Star destroyer standing We're so by. close. I didn't think I'd have to use my interdictor there. It's also possible uh, the checks for the ability for that aren't working. So, that's a thing too. I think they are. Uh, but I'll, I'll have to check more directly. Alright, um... Send y'all in. And I think this is the base game map with just uh, some changes to put Talon Card's base in here. Yeah. Or I think that's supposed to be Talon Card's base. I assume so. Reporting. Presumably that's why Rogue put it there. Hm. Alright, Hornskers, stay away. No, 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 I said stay away. Bad dog. The enemy has been spotted. This way. Right up, man. Hmm. I didn't think that would work. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Floating Fortress update. It's still a weird gray box, but it's a less ugly weird gray box. Alright, they're actually sending in an at, -AT so let's get our stuff ready. Guys, chase him down. ATAT, -AT, destroy that. Everyone else can just go into the base. They are going to get another. No, our bombing run should be ready by then. So never mind. They're not going to get another ATAT. -AT. And over here, so we just got to bomb run that. Oh, maybe. I'm not sure what the spawn time is on it. Okay, that's far enough. Yeah, with the time it's taking for for us to actually destroy it, it'll probably get they'll probably get another ATAT. -AT. Yeah, 
course, it's always possible the bombers will get it when it's still just on its way out. That happens a lot. Oh, well, it's happening. Over there. Kill it. Okay, that's actually a good angle. It's a good angle. Which way are you going to turn? Where are you going to go? Oh no. That could save you. No, it's not going to save you. Oh, it kind of saved you. What do you know? Alright, well it's coming over here, so... You guys don't even need to move that much to take it out. Go kill that thing. That's the thing that's attacking you. There you go. Oh, still the floating fortress. Uh, kind of worried about our ATAT's ability to take it out. Are they just fighting the Vornskers? Okay, waddle your way over there, ATAT. Alright, so, uh, we've taken over Wayland and Merkir, uh, so I think we're actually going to leave that there for today's episode, so thanks for watching everyone, hope you're enjoying this series so far, and I will see you next time. Bye!